Hey guys, John V from Phone Rainer here. You're watching our video comparison between the Google Nexus 6 and the Apple iPhone 6 Plus. So Apple was, was resistant to making really big phones, but that of course changed with the introduction of the iPhone 6 Plus. It arrived onto the scene with much acclaim, though it was kind of light on phablet-like features. In contrast, the Google Nexus 6 is embarking on its journey with its fresh Android 5.0 lollipop experience. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it can try to propel itself and reaching the same highly sought out status as Apple's pride and joy. Now at the core of it all, it's yet another metal versus plastic comparison. Even though the Nexus 6 is one of the sturdier and attractive Nexus devices out to be released, it still lacks the meticulous premium finish of the iPhone 6 Plus. Still, we really appreciate that it features dual front firing speakers. While the iPhone 6 Plus differentiates itself by incorporating a Touch ID fingerprint sensor into its home button. Interestingly though, the uh, iPhone 6 Plus is the most detailed display to ever grace an iPhone, but still isn't as impressive as the Nexus 6's Quad HD resolution. And again, the iPhone 6 Plus has a brighter and more color accurate screen, making it a lot easier to view outdoors with the sun present. Details of course are no doubt impressive with the Nexus 6 display, but we can't discount the iPhone 6 Plus's pleasant qualities as well. The Apple no doubt brought its game to the table with the release of iOS 8, giving it some notable features that bring the experience to the same level as Android past. However, now that Android 5.0 Lollipop is here in the flesh on the Nexus 6, the separation between the two platforms is once again apparent. It all boils down to the undeniable reality that Google is just one step ahead of its rival. Not only is the design language of Lollipop more dynamic than iOS 8, but the other great area of divide is seen in their set of software features. Now quite frankly, Lollipop elevates the experience to a totally new level, one that really can't be achieved by iOS 8 in its current incarnation. Superficially, they're both buttery smooth, but the iPhone 6 Plus has a stronger gaming performance with its dual-core 1.4 GHz Apple A8 processor with 1 GB RAM. Well, the performance is still pretty swell with the quad-core 2.7 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 processor with 3 GB of RAM in the Nexus 6, but it just doesn't achieve the same finesse seen with the iPhone 6 Plus's gaming performance. They work in pretty much the same respect in a variety of areas, although some areas favor the Nexus 6, like surfing the web, listening to music, and even watching movies. Again, the larger screen size and higher resolution screen of the Nexus 6 makes it more ideal for the web browsing experience, as well as watching videos, seeing that its sharp details and the iridescent glow gets our attention more. Even though the Nexus 6's dual front firing speakers is able to muster up 75 decibels of audio power, higher than the 71.6 decibel output from the iPhone 6 Plus's single speaker, its bass tones sound a little bit on the the reserve side while the iPhone 6 Plus speaker is crisper in tone. Now on paper, the Nexus 6's camera seems to have an advantage, but the results show the iPhone 6 Plus is by far the stronger performer. Now don't be fooled by the iPhone 6 Plus's 8 megapixel eyesight camera, especially when it seems insignificant on paper to the Nexus 6's 13 megapixel snapper, just because it's far more versatile in capturing photos in their natural state. Essentially, the iPhone 6 Plus's shots are sharper looking, with a more natural looking exposure. Now, it's especially noticeable with the sky in some of our shots. At the same time, Apple's product is far more capable under lower lighting conditions, seeing that its shots are brighter, crisper, and less noisy. When it comes to recording video, we appreciate that the Nexus 6 is accompanied with Ultra HD 4K video recording. But when comparing apples to apples with their 1080p samples, we're again just attracted to the quality of the iPhone 6 Plus. Essentially, it's sharper looking, offers better exposure adjustment, and it's also spot on with its autofocus. We're not gonna lie, the call quality performance out of the two phones here is average. They have their strengths and weaknesses, but generally speaking, there's not one that we find superior in this area. However, when it comes to battery life, the Nexus 6 dishes up the longer tally. Our bench battery benchmark test shed some light on that certainty, as the Nexus 6 achieves a mark of seven hours and 53 minutes from a full charge, whereas the iPhone 6 Plus taps out at only six hours and 32 minutes. In terms of pricing, there's an advantage going with the Nexus 6 and its lower $649 cost, which is significantly cheaper than the $749 starting cost of the iPhone 6 Plus. Taking into account the Quad HD screen it's packing along, it's pretty impressive. 
impressive to see it undercut Apple's offering in that area. Additionally, with the introduction of, of Android 5.0 Lollipop, which is undoubtedly a huge leap above I, the iOS 8 experience, it kind of helps to solidify the Nexus 6's usefulness and value. However, we can't forget to mention the premium nature that's attached to the iPhone 6 Plus. That alone helps to justify its higher costs, and it also helps that it captures better looking photos and videos with its camera too. So yeah, the iOS 8 experience doesn't have the same breadth of software tricks and features we get with the Android 5.0 Lollipop experience, but iOS 8 is still pretty simple and intuitive. Now it's a tough call on which one to go with, but we certainly can say you won't be disappointed in going with either of them. So if you guys want to learn more about either device, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. John V. Thanks for watching.